Hey guys, what's up? Beast and Beast Toys here coming at you. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you want to get notifications of my reviews. Hey, got a Mandalorian Fleet Commander here. Number 34. Quite a bit in the Mando wave. So I actually found this at a Walmart. Uh, say local Walmart. So, you know, so we're kind of bowed on the bottom. I'm like, why is this thing leaning? It's kind of looking. I'm like, no, this thing's not sitting flat. Because it's both on the bottom. Anyway, I don't care. We're opening it. We're showing it off. So, anyway, he's number 34. So, we're getting up there in numbers. So, there it is. I, you know, I have said that I'm not collecting as many Black Series lately. And I'm not. I just happened to walk into Walmart and I had, had to hurt him and two of him and two Shin uh, Hati or have you, yeah, how do you say it? From Ahsoka, they had an R4 or R5 or R4 D5 or R5 D4 D5 or whatever his name is, and I I had read somewhere that someone had posted that it's bigger than the ones the other Black Series ones, and I noticed that I just I couldn't buy it right now. Um, I didn't want this guy. I've kind of been keeping my eye out for him. Just kind of one of the ones that I've been kind of looking for. So anyway, we're gonna we're gonna open him today. So it says bio says he has a bio which is nice some of these are like generic obi-wans are generic serving under mercenary turned privateer axe wolves the mandalorian fleet commander sits at the helm of the captured imperial light cruiser so he's the dude that was at the commanding the ship when the mando and the clan attacked uh, what's his name's base so I did see something before I even get him all the way cracked open. Something or somewhere that I'm going to post about the helmet being loose. Maybe not fitting quite the way it should. So we're going to see if that's true. There we go. Pop him out. And ooh, I don't see a holster for this blaster. That's kind of a, that's my first knock. jetpack though looks a little I mean most of them are all modeled the same obviously I think and if you've collected these you probably know it but just the tip of it's what's what you can see is different and this one oh it comes off so you can take that off you can shoot the rocket off if you want that's kind of cool I'm glad they adjusted those so let's see how it fits usually these fit funky or don't fit very good or fall off pretty easily so no this one's on there Pretty solid, so there it is. Good and good and solid. Um, yeah, like I said, the downside is we're gonna see here. We got nowhere to put his pistol. I'm double checking that my eyes aren't deceiving me, and they're not. Check his knees. Good and stiff. Good and tight. So knee joints are good. Uh, so we're gonna find out. Head's a little. A little loose, but not terrible. Uh, like I said, we're going to find out the the big thing is, is they're saying that the the helmet's a little loose. So, so unfortunately, you're going to have to put this in his hand if you don't want to lose it. One of his hands, and it doesn't really fit great in the left hand. It's a little a little loose. Let's see if I didn't really like the way it was starting to go down into his right hand. It's a little snugger there, so that's kind of like I said, kind of odd that you can't get anywhere to put that. They've been pretty good about giving you holsters on these characters. I'm not sure why we didn't put some kind of leg holster on. So, yep, no joke on the helmet. Look at that. Super, super loose. That's a shame, too. It's a uh, this is a painted, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you because I'm 99.9% .9 sure this is what I think it is. And it's because the head's smaller for one is uh, the helmet is the same as the Return of the Jedi Boba Fett. I'm 99.9% .9 sure. So I'm looking at the slight shape of it, the way the Boba Fett, I remember, I just remember opening that and thinking that, that's like, eh. So, 
Um, I mean, it's a good looking figure if you like having different Mandalorians. That's what you're going to get. Going to fall off really easy, as you can tell. So there's two, two downsides so far, for sure, for this figure. Number one, helmet. So everything I read is correct. Um, I have to guess go back into the uh, <clears throat> chats on these and see if I can find where someone posted what they did to alleviate that, uh, how to fix it. So that's the downside. Now, he said, it's a good looking figure. If you like Mando figures, if you want to increase your clan and add to it, which is why I bought this. And, and yeah, by all means, it's uh, it'll be a fine figure for that collection. But uh, and to and to display with, but the problem is, like I said, you're gonna run into his helmet super loose, so that's the downside. So, very easily could fall off for me. I may set this somewhere and it may fall off, I don't know, but anyway. So, all right, guys, well, there you have it. There's your Mando Fleet Commander, some a neat figure, good, good for your Mando clan, just bad, bad with the helmet and the blaster. You gotta. He's got to hold on to the blaster the whole time and the helmet very loose. So if you fall over or knock him over, turn him upside down. If you pick him up and you're not paying attention, this thing's going to fall off. And like I said, part of it is the head sculpt is kind of small. So if you found, if you could ever find a head sculpt that was a little bit bigger uh, of a different, you know, if you could take a different character's head and make it work. I'm not sure, not sure if you can or not. It just depends on the ball socket, I guess. But if you can find a different head that works, you've got yourself a... And it'll probably tighten it up. They just didn't make this guy's head. I don't know. Weird. They didn't make his head sculpt very big. So, I guess if they still had the selfie series, you could always take a selfie, get your head, and switch it. Just saying. Anyway, so... Alright, guys. There he is. Mando Fleet Commander. Uh, number 34 in the Mandalorian wave. So go ahead and give a thumbs up if you like what you see. Um, like I said, um, it's okay. I, I, I'm trying not to downplay. I guess I'm very disappointed with the helmet, but I was hoping what I read was not correct, and I'm unfortunately it is. So I think I'm just a little disappointed. That's all. It was, uh, and I paid full price. I, I just one of those like, yeah, I probably wanted to wait it out but I, I kept telling myself if I see him especially him in a local Walmart I'm gonna probably pick him up I uh, went in one a town over I had to go over there today and pick something up and I went in mainly really looking to see if any master verse figures and uh he was there and I'm like eh I gotta pick him up I want, I want him so anyway there he is, and uh, he'll fit fine with the Mando clan, so to speak, but otherwise, you know, just a few minor things are going to be a pain in, the, pain in the butt, so, anyway, so, but if you, again, give it a thumbs up if you feel that I explained everything good, so to speak, and, uh, you know, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff, but anyway, alright guys, with the Mando Fleet Commander, thanks for watching, guys, on Beast from Beast Toys, we'll see you.